I was born on a farm. I was on a farm all my life until I moved here to this house. This is Ruby Peterson. She is 92 years old. We compare notes about our schools. I went to a one-room schoolhouse, country school, until I was in eighth grade. Our school, Sibley East Junior High. It was built in the 1970s and it has 277 students. What was the one room school like? Can you describe it? It was very cozy. <laughs> there were eight grades in that school room. It was, it was a large room and we all, we knew each other. We lived, you know, that was neighbors that walked probably to school, not in this kind of weather, like zero weather, but we did walk to school occasionally. My home farm was a mile away. But I emphasize there was no school bus, so we walked to school. Of course, those days there were no slacks. We called them slacks. And usually it was skirts and um, long stockings for the girls. And of course, the boys had long pants. This is what we would wear otherwise. Not us. In the wintertime, it was difficult because there was snow many times like it is now. And I know my dad took us to school in a sleigh <laughs> because we lived on a farm and had horses. So then we'd all maybe ride in that sleigh. The na neighbor kids would jump on when we came along. And that was our school bus. And the teacher quite often was a single woman and she stayed in private homes in the district. One of them stayed at our home, I know. And my dad was on the school board, so you had, he felt kind of responsibility to bring her to school sometimes because of weather. And, and she did all, the teacher did all the janitor work too. We had one hour of uh, noon hour, we called it, recess, one hour. Of course, we had our lunch. Sometimes there was a sandwich, sometimes there was an orange, and we didn't have milk cartons. I can't remember what we did about that. But we had, there was a huge furnace in that schoolroom. There was no basement, but there was a huge furnace. And in the wintertime, we would bring a potato to school, and we would put it on top of that furnace when we came in the morning and let it lay there. So it must have just had heat that just elevated throughout the building. But then we had that potato at noon. We had baked potatoes. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Easy as, as it could be. Now we have cafeterias where you can get hot lunches every day. How was it like to go to high school? When I went to high school, we had, there was no bus service. That's why we had to stay in town because I lived oh, 10, 12 miles from the school. And Helen knows you didn't drive to school then. So we, a good friend of mine, who was always all, also a farmer's daughter, through, and I knew her through the church, we lived together in um one room, bed, well, it was a bedroom in town in Winthrop, and we stayed there the entire week. And then our parents came and got us on Friday night and brought us back to town on Sunday night. We had been all eight grades in a one-room schoolhouse, and when I went to high school, well, there were rooms, there were many teachers for different subjects. We had never had that experience before because I had had one teacher all during my eight, well, eight grades, yes. But that was, that was, I think, the hardest thing to get used to, all the different rooms we went to. There was a little 
wasn't segregation exactly, but the country kids came into town school to go to school. And there was a little, not a, not a feeling of, oh, I can't tell you just how it felt, but it was, it was different, different. Oh, they're the country kids, you know, or mm -hmm. they're the town kids. That was that comment many times. But we fooled them, we got along with them. Mm -hmm. Our school is small, so it's easy to get along with everyone else. It worked out well. I graduated from high school, and so it went well. And I liked school, always. Wow, school has changed a lot, but I'm glad we still have free time.